Good afternoon and welcome to St. Peter on this the uh, Ash Wednesday. If you did not already, there are programs at the entrances. We will be singing some of the music, not all of it, but you will need a program. Thank you. Merciful to all, O Lord, and despise nothing that you have made. You overlook people's sins to bring them repentance, and you spare them for you are the Lord God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be harmed with armed with weapons of self-restraint through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, 
and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast, let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and, my, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for God, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be a son for for our sake he made him to be sin who did not know sin so that we might become the righteousness of God in him working together then we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain for he says in an acceptable time i heard you on the day of salvation i helped you behold now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, Close the door and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting, Accept your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Today we begin our 40-day Lenten journey, and I remember Monsignor Riley always used to say, Lent's a time to get serious about the faith, time to buckle down. And how true it is. In the Gospel today, Jesus gives us three things we can do. Pray more, fast, and give alms. Probably for many of us during this pandemic, we have a lot of at-home time. We find ourselves not going out like we used to. But are we filling that time up with prayer? Or are we on our phones? Are we watching television? So maybe this Lent, during the pandemic, will take some more time to pray. Maybe watch TV on the internet, or come to Mass in person, or read the daily readings from the Word Among Us. Spend more time in prayer, fasting. Maybe we can fast from dessert, or maybe we can fast from the things that come out of our mouths, gossiping, mean things we say, or maybe we can fast from using our phone or texting. Again, certain things we can fast from or give. We can give to the poor or maybe give ourselves to those lonely relatives who don't receive a call. Give them a call. Write them a letter. Drop something off. Again, something we can do to give of ourselves to others. Lent is 40 days. It'll go by fast. Don't let this time of spiritual renewal pass you by. Please stand. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lead your merciful ear to our prayers and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants, who are marked with these ashes, as they follow the Lenten observance, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will distribute ashes like we do Holy Communion. If you're in the chairs up front or the pews or here, stay put, I'll come to you. Everyone else, if you could form a line coming out by the stations, return by the Isle of the Pillars, and again, we will sprinkle ashes on the crown of your head. You don't have to say anything, and I will say the words once for everyone. Remember, you are dust, and unto dust you will return. Please join me on the refrain during the distribution, Attende Domine. Attende Domine, et miserere, qui opecavimus tibi. Attende Domine, et miserere, qui opecavimus tibi. O great Redeemer, King of all creation, as we are sinners, we deserve your judgment. Jesus, be gracious, hear our prayer of sorrow. Attend
listen in kindness as we ask forgiveness. Though sin condemns us, you are strong to save us. Attend With praise and thanksgiving, let us present our petitions for all who hold and teach the Catholic faith, that they may model it for all peoples to see. We pray to the Lord. For our government officials, that they may work toward the common good. We pray to the Lord. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate, especially from this parish, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, in a special way we remember the John and Sally Farrick family. As we've embraced our loved ones in this life, may God embrace them in eternal life, we pray to the Lord. God loving Father, we thank you for this day. We ask you to hear our petitions and grant them according to your will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Please join on the refrain of Parce Domine during the preparation of the gifts. Parce Domine, Parce Popolo Tua, Ne in eternum irascaris nobis. Parce Domine, Parce sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
as we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Lawrence, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. She who ponders the law of the Lord day and night will yield fruit in due season. Please join me on the communion hymn, All is Well with My Soul.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty, and by your mercy, may, their ma may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.